I'm finally getting back to work on the Toyota, trying to get the exhaust manifold together. Finally got the right size of Schedule 40 weld L's, but now that I'm working on fitting it, and got a lot less room than I first anticipated. I was hoping to be able to make some nice radiuses with those bins or the weld L's, but there just isn't room to do that. Part of the issue is the wastegate actuator, the vein actuator on the turbo, pretty much is, seems to be fixed where it is. There's a stock welded in right down in here. And I really don't want to deal with changing that, making a new stop, and figuring out how far it has to travel and all that stuff. So I kind of want to leave it alone. But it's making it tight right here where I need to make the manifold. I think I can fit it in there. I can't really move the turbo any farther away from the head because then we'll be hitting, potentially hitting on the tire under suspension travel. So I don't want that wastegate actuator or the uh, vein actuator any farther out into the wheel well. So that's kind of the situation. Keep working at it and figure something out. I kind of got an idea now. I don't know how well it's going to work. Probably just have to start tacking a few pieces together and see what it looks like. I'm running out of hands real quick trying to line things up. So I may just tack some stuff on together and that way I can work a little bit better. Here's the beginning of the exhaust log manifold. It's going pretty well so far. Just got my runners tacked on the flange for the moment. Just a couple real small tacks of the TIG welder just to hold them there. And now I've been working on notching the tubes. So that's going to go like that. As you can see, we've got a pretty nice fit there. So that shouldn't be too bad to weld. plan is to put the turbo flange right here and these two halves of the log are just going to kind of curve out curve right down here to the flange for the turbine inlet just got the other side notched for the log manifold and it turned out pretty well I'm happy with that this here in the center is not going to stay like that like I just said I'm going to have that coming down this way towards the turbine inlet as I was making the notches, I used a flashlight and shine it up into the runner. And then I could see my gaps and where I needed to trim. And so that was an easy way to figure out how to notch it. Used a cornwall air grinder or a die grinder and got some Matco carbide bits, which cut really well. And so that's how I notched it. Did the rough cut with the cutoff wheel on the same tool and then switched over to the carbide burr for the final, uh, for the finishing cuts. And got it got also um, tapered so it's ready to weld and the joint's nice and tight so it should be pretty easy to weld. So that'll be nice. There's my air system. A 50 foot hose on a reel comes around through here and then over in the side room laundry room here I've got the compressor this compressor is pretty good I've had it for I don't know four years I think haven't had any trouble out of it and it does a good job doesn't keep up with long periods of grinding but uh, I don't do that too often so it's not that big a deal it's definitely a lot better than the last one if you're looking for a good compressor be sure to get one that's got oil in it. There's oil in the crankcase. The oilless compressors just have like a little neoprene or rubber ring that seals the piston and they wear out really quick. I learned that the hard way with my last compressor. This is a lot more heavy duty and it just holds up much better and it seems to be a little more efficient as well. Just got the manifold pretty much all done. I mean at least pieced and fitted together minus the flange right here there at the end and then the collector 
I'm pretty pleased with it. It looks good. Fits pretty well. Got a few gaps in a couple places, but I think we can take care of that. Not too worried about it. I've made quite a bit of progress in the last few days, and it finally looks like I'm getting something done now. Just finished the exhaust manifold. Other than the brace, I've still got to make a brace to help hold the weight against the block. But otherwise, it's pretty much done and ready to go. A lot of test fitting, a lot of hours working on it. I don't know, I probably got around eight hours into this manifold, but it's exactly what I need and the turbo fits perfect. So that's what we're looking for. Here it is. This is a cylinder head that came with the engine that I bought. The head's bad, it's got a bad lifter bore. So this is nice though, because I can use it to hold the header or the manifold. So hopefully it won't warp as bad when I weld it. So I've got it all bolted down. Just finished welding the last parts here around the um, primaries up next to the header flange. And we're pretty much just about ready to go with this thing. Had a little trouble getting the heat right on the welder with this really thick flange. It's a half inch thick flange on the head and then the Schedule 40 pipe. So a little bit of a thickness differential there. And I don't have a water cooled torch on my TIG. So uh, that was a little challenging, but it should definitely be enough to hold it together and not come apart. And I know for a fact it's sealed up. So um, I think that with the brace and we'll be all set. I also tigged around the inside here just to make sure that it's sealed. I didn't use any filler rod with that. I just melted it together basically. And then I welded more on the outside of that turbine flange. I guess the flange has a coating on it or something because it didn't weld very well. If you've tigged, you know what I'm talking about when it spits back at you. Um, so that's really frustrating to weld, but I think it should hold. Um, well, I mean, I know it's going to hold. Uh, it just doesn't look the best. But anyway, um, not too worried about it. Not going to go anywhere. done all my tigging with Lincoln Precision TIG 185 been real happy with this machine it does the job for what I need <laughs> 